The Battle of Vitoria on the 21st of June 1813 saw a British, Portuguese and Spanish army under Arthur Wellesley, who would become the Duke of Wellington the following year, break the French army under King Joseph Bonaparte and Marshal Jean-Baptiste Jourdan near Vitoria in Spain, eventually leading to victory in the Peninsular War. The battle was such a big deal, it was the inspiration for Beethoven's Opus 91, often called the Battle Symphony or Wellington's Victory, portraying the battle as musical drama. Kicking off just after 8am, by 7pm the same day, the French were in full retreat towards Pamploma, leaving behind vast quantities of plunder, baggage and all their artillery. Through their victory, the British and their allies gained control of the Basque provinces and compelled the French forces to retreat over the Pyrenees and back into France. The Battle of Vittoria is covered, in a very small way, in Sharp's honour. Basically, after the actual storyline has all but finished, Sharp and the Chosen Men show up at the Battle of Vittoria, which, thanks to the show's budget, is being prosecuted by about 30 blokes in total, and performs some heroic feats. Sharp and Harris leaping unnecessarily over a cart are among my favourites. And basically, the whole thing's over in a flash. But I'm getting ahead of myself there. This episode rounds out the second series of Sharp Adventures, and of the three stories here, it's hard to say where it really ranks. The previous two in this season have the advantage of being Obadiah Hakeswill related stories, and as one of Sharp's greatest enemies, they're really hard to go past. Of course, Sharp's Honour has the return of Major Pierre Ducot from the previous episode, and in spite of what happens to him at the end of this adventure, he will be a thorn in Sharp's side for some time to come on TV. So, when re-watching the episode with that knowledge, seeing these earlier encounters with Ducot is really delicious stuff. But I'm dancing around the topic, aren't I? I think if I was pressed, I'd say this is the lesser of the three episodes this season, but I need to immediately follow that comment up with the fact that I think this is a really enjoyable romp, and it's definitely not wasted time in front of the TV. It's not a bad episode by any stretch of the imagination. So let's discuss it. The premise is that Ducot is engineering a plan where Napoleon's brother Joseph will give the Spanish throne back to King Ferdinand VII, who will, in turn, maintain an alliance with France and kick Britain and its allies out of the country. Ducot hatches this plan in person with Napoleon during what I believe is supposed to be the retreat from Moscow the previous year. Given the countryside, however, and Ducot's clothing, the scrolling text that announces it's 1813, and the whole compressed nature of the timeline in this story in general, it kind of gives the casual viewer the feeling that Napoleon is actually in Spain right before the Battle of Vittoria. At this point in time, however, the middle of 1913, I'm pretty sure he would have been back in France rebuilding his army after the disastrous Russian campaign, and long after this meeting with Ducot, and this is the whole reason his brother Joseph and Marshal Jourdan are in charge at Vittoria, and not Napoleon. When Napoleon asks Ducot what he will get out of the plan to change the crown in Spain, he bizarrely tells Napoleon that it's to get back at Sharp. Sorry, but what? While Ducot does indeed have a plan to get back at Sharp, which we'll address in a moment, it has absolutely nothing to do with giving the Spanish throne back to King Ferdinand VII. A very strange piece of writing there, just to have Napoleon hear Sharp's name in dialogue, I guess? So on to Ducot's other plan. He has a French spy, La Marquesa, played by the Star Trek Borg Queen herself, Alice Krieger, writing a letter to her Spanish husband, claiming that Sharp tried to force himself on her. Sharp, being the natural hothead he is who can't back down from a fight, even when it genuinely has nothing to do with him, is forced into a duel with the outraged nobleman, but the fight is broken up by Wellington's men. Later that night, while asleep, the Spaniard has his throat cut. Sharp is framed for the murder and is sentenced to hang. Now this is where the story really gets going, so I'll go light on the details from here. What it provides, however, is the chance for Sharp and Harper to have an adventure together, 
with the knock-on effect that while the Chosen Men are left back at the army's encampment for most of the story, when we see them, it's without Sharp or Harper overshadowing them. The scenes with the guys delivering Harper's baby in his absence are good fun in particular. Krieger's La Marquesa is a feisty delight, but with layers. While it's absolutely hilarious seeing her spit venom at some nuns when Ducot tries to have her locked up in a nunnery, and equally fun when Sharp joins in a fight with the nuns, there's also a nuance to her performance in quieter moments where you get a sense that, yes, this is a smart woman who's playing a delicate game in what's very much a man's world at this point, all without coming out and actually saying as much to the audience. I think that makes the performance more powerful. The second confrontation between Sharp and Ducot is everything you'd hope it to be in this episode, with the stakes really ramped up because Sharp is captured by the French at that point and at Ducot's mercy. Well, at least initially. <laughs> everything else in the episode is standard Sharp fare, with partisans, dodgy priests, and all the daring do that you come to the series for. Like I said at the start, this isn't a bad episode in the slightest. It does deviate from the book it's based on in several areas, but as you know if you've been watching the videos in this series so far, that's not my primary concern. I make these videos based on the TV episodes alone. So have you seen Sharp's Honor? What did you make of it? Have you read the book as well? Why not have a conversation with me about it all down in the comments?